Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our transmission output shaft speed sensor. That's going to be located in the center of the vehicle on the back side of the transmission. The first thing I always like to do is make my way right over to the wiring harness. I'm going to squeeze on the tab where my index finger is and carefully pull this off. Once it's off of there, I always give the wiring a close inspection. If you see any funny colors, it's probably corrosion and that would need to be dealt with. Now there's going to be one mounting bolt that holds the sensor to the transmission. It's up along the top side of the sensor here. To get this out of here, you're going to have to use a T27 Torx bit. Remove your mounting bolt, give it a quick inspection, and set it aside. Now the next thing we need to do is start removing the sensor from the transmission. I'm going to go ahead and grab onto it and give it a little wiggle. I need to break it free, but what I want to do is be careful not to pivot it up and down like this, because the sensor does go down and in. You only want to try to twist it until it does break free. There we go. Sometimes you have to gently pry. Before we put in our new sensor, let's just take a rag and clean the mounting hole. Now it's going to be time to install our transmission output shaft speed sensor. To do this, typically I like to lubricate the O-ring. Now we can take this and we're going to slide it down into the transmission, making sure that we line up the mounting bolt hole on the sensor with the mounting bolt hole on the transmission. Go ahead and slide it right on there until it bottoms out against the transmission. Once you have it bottomed out, continue on with your mounting bolt. We'll make sure that we start this in by hand so we're sure that we're not cross-threading it into the transmission. Once it's started, go ahead and snug it up. Now let's carefully get our torque wrench up here and we're going to torque that mounting bolt to 89 inch pounds. Once you're sure that you have it torqued, continue on with your wiring. We'll just carefully put this into position, slide it in and listen for a click. There's that. I'm going to give it a wiggle, try to pull it off of there. I want to ensure that this does not fall off while I'm driving down the road. Okay friends, the next thing you want to do is carefully slide out from underneath the vehicle. Start it up, take it for a road test, make sure everything functions fine.